Reading is a fundamental part of homeschooling, offering children not only academic enrichment, but also opportunities to explore new worlds, ideas, and perspectives. Whether you're looking for books for read aloud sessions, independent reading, or classic literature to supplement your curriculum, selecting age-appropriate books that spark interest and foster a love of learning is key. In this article, we'll recommend books and literature for various age groups and reading levels. From early childhood favorites to chapter books for older children, and even thought-provoking novels for teens, you'll find a variety of suggestions to suit different learning stages. Books for Early Childhood, ages 3 to 6. At this age, children are just beginning to explore the world of books, making read-alouds an essential part of their literacy development. These books are rich in illustrations, language rhythm, and simple yet engaging stories that help build vocabulary and comprehension. Read-aloud recommendations. 1. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. A beloved classic, The Very Hungry Caterpillar teaches counting, days of the week, and the life cycle of a butterfly. Its repetitive, rhythmic language is perfect for young listeners, while the vibrant illustrations capture their attention. 2. Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? by Bill Martin Jr. and Eric Carle. This interactive, sing-song book is a fun way to introduce young children to colors and animals. The rhythmic text and repetitive structure help children anticipate and participate in the storytelling. 3. Good Night Moon by Margaret Wise Brown. A perfect bedtime story, Good Night Moon uses calming language and soothing illustrations to help children wind down. It's an excellent read aloud for building routine and familiarizing children with simple objects and words. Independent Reading Suggestions at this stage, children may be starting to recognize letters and words. Simple books with large text, repetitive phrases, and engaging pictures will encourage early readers to start connecting words with meaning. 1. Elephant and Piggy series by Mo Willems. This early reader series is perfect for children who are just beginning to read independently. The simple text and expressive illustrations tell funny, heartwarming stories about friendship. 2. Hop on Pop by Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss's beginner books are great for early readers. Hop on Pop introduces simple, easy-to-read words and phrases with the classic Sushan rhyme and fun. 3. The Little Bear Series by Elsa Holmlund Minerick. This classic series is an excellent bridge from picture books to chapter books. With gentle, heartwarming stories and easy vocabulary, children will enjoy reading about Little Bear's adventures. In the elementary years, children are transitioning into more complex stories and beginning to explore chapter books. Read-alouds can still play an important role, but independent reading should be encouraged as well. Read-aloud recommendations. First, Charlotte's Web by E.B. White. This timeless tale of friendship, loyalty, and the cycle of life is a perfect read-aloud for elementary students. Charlotte's Web offers rich language, humor, and themes that children can discuss and explore. Next, The Magic Treehouse series by Mary Pope Osborne. This engaging series blends adventure with history and science, making it both educational and fun. Jack and Annie's time-traveling adventures are perfect for sparking curiosity about different cultures and time periods. And finally, Winnie the Pooh by A. A. Milne. The charming stories of Winnie the Pooh and his friends in the Hundred Acre Wood are delightful for both parents and children. The gentle humor, memorable characters, and playful language make it a great read aloud. Independent Reading Suggestions As reading skills develop, children will enjoy books with more detailed plots, chapter divisions, and richer language. First up, the Boxcar Children series by Gertrude Chandler Warner. This classic mystery series follows the adventures of four siblings who live in an abandoned boxcar. The stories emphasize independence, problem solving, and family bonds. Next, the Ramona series by Beverly Cleary. The Ramona series is filled with humor and relatable situations as Ramona Quimby navigates school, friendships, and family life. These books are perfect for readers transitioning to chapter books. And lastly, the Mercy Watson series by Kate DiCamillo. 
Mercy Watson is a pig with a big personality, and her antics are sure to entertain young readers. The series features bright, engaging illustrations and accessible text, making it great for early chapter book readers. At this stage, children are ready for more complex stories with deeper themes, but they still enjoy imaginative adventures and relatable characters. Independent reading becomes more prominent, and read-alouds can be used to introduce more challenging or thought-provoking material. Read-aloud recommendations. First, we have the Chronicles of Narnia series by C.S. Lewis. This epic fantasy series introduces children to themes of bravery, friendship, and good versus evil. The richly imaginative world of Narnia offers endless possibilities for discussion, making it an excellent read-aloud for older children. Next is Anne of Green Gables by L.M. Montgomery. The adventures of Anne Shirley, an imaginative orphan who finds a home in Avonlea, are full of humor, warmth, and charm. Anne of Green Gables introduces young readers to themes of belonging, friendship, and personal growth. And of course, the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling. The Harry Potter series is beloved for its magical world, relatable characters, and themes of courage, friendship, and loyalty. It's a fantastic read-aloud series that can span several years and captivate readers of all ages. Independent Reading Suggestions by this age, children can handle longer books with more complex storylines, nuanced characters, and challenging vocabulary. Encourage your child to explore different genres and topics. First up, the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series by Rick Reardon. This fast-paced series follows Percy Jackson, a modern-day demigod, as he embarks on epic adventures based on Greek mythology. The blend of humor, action, and mythology makes it a hit with upper elementary and middle school readers. Next, we have Holes by Louis Sakar. Holes is an award-winning novel that intertwines the story of Stanley Yelnats, who is sent to a juvenile detention camp with a mystery from the past. The engaging plot and thought-provoking themes of fate, friendship, and justice make it perfect for middle-grade readers. Lastly, Wonder by R.J. Palacio. Wonder tells the heartwarming and inspirational story of Augie, a boy with facial differences, as he navigates middle school. The book's themes of kindness, empathy, and acceptance resonate with readers of all ages. Books for high school, ages 13 to 18. In high school, students are ready for literature that challenges their thinking, exposes them to diverse perspectives, and encourages deeper analysis. Books at this stage often deal with more complex themes, mature topics, and sophisticated language. Read aloud recommendations. First, we have To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. This classic novel explores themes of racial injustice, moral growth, and empathy through the eyes of Scout Finch. It's a powerful read aloud for discussing historical context, ethics, and humanity. Next, The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. Tolkien's adventure-filled novel is a wonderful introduction to high fantasy literature. The Hobbit explores themes of courage, adventure, and personal growth and can be enjoyed by both younger and older teens. Lastly, The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. Set during World War II, The Book Thief tells the story of a young girl named Liesel who finds solace in stealing books and sharing them during the horrors of war. The narrative's powerful themes of resilience and the power of words make it an excellent read aloud for older teens. Independent reading suggestions. At this level, teens should be encouraged to explore a variety of genres, from classic literature to contemporary novels that challenge their thinking. First, 1984 by George Orwell. 1984 is a dystopian novel that examines themes of government control, surveillance, and individual freedom. This thought-provoking book encourages teens to think critically about power, society, and ethics. Next, Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. This beloved classic explores themes of love, class, and personal growth through the witty and intelligent Elizabeth Bennet. The rich language and timeless themes make it an engaging read for older teens. And finally, The Giver by Lois Lowry. The Giver is a dystopian novel that challenges readers to think about freedom, 
conformity, and individuality. The novel's exploration of a society that suppresses emotion and choice offers much for teens to analyze and reflect upon. Choosing the right books and literature for your homeschooling journey can foster a love of reading and encourage critical thinking at every age level. From picture books for young children to complex novels for teens, there is a wealth of literature to inspire and engage readers at every stage of development. Whether through read-alouds that bring families together or independent reading that fosters a sense of achievement and independence, books offer endless opportunities for growth and exploration. By selecting age-appropriate, diverse, and engaging literature, you can help cultivate a lifelong love of reading in your homeschoolers. Whether you're reading classic literature aloud, offering fun chapter books, or providing thought-provoking novels for older teens, these recommendations will support both academic development and personal enjoyment. Don't hesitate to revisit favorites from your own childhood or explore new titles together as a family. Books can open up conversations, introduce new ideas, and create shared memories, making them an invaluable part of your homeschooling experience. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and click that notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos. Thanks for watching Russell's Loving Life.